the right direction. Only the one who has a changed heart. Because it's actually more about who you know than what you know. We can know doctrine. But unless the Lord changes our heart, granting repentance and belief, we can confess Jesus just as the demons do and still follow along after false spirits, Amen. after false messages. <clears throat> Think about all the cults that you've heard about over just the last couple of years. Think about them. You know, you see them on the news. They usually come to a bad end. Yeah. Most of them have some very wild and outlandish beliefs that you hear about and you think, well, how in the world can anybody believe that? <coughs> right? I mean, you know, the they, you know, the FBI surrounded their compound, they're throwing, you know, firebombs in, things are going crazy, and then the, the announcers, you know, get some kind of talking head on there to tell you all the things that they believe. You know? They believe, what was that one thing? That there was a comet coming, you know, and they believed that, you know, there was, there was a spaceship behind that comet, and they were coming to pick them up. And you're thinking, what on earth would make a reasonable person go, yeah, that sounds great. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It always comes down to affection over intellect. See, it's not our heads necessarily that are chasing after these things. It's our hearts. It's our hearts. Our hearts are always stronger. They will always trump our minds. That's why God renews our minds. But first, He recreates our heart. We don't learn our way to God. We love our way into God. Right. Or really more precisely, God loves us into Himself. And we respond to His love with our own love, with our devotion. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. As believers, we can discern and prevail over false spirits if we rely on God to fight through us. Jesus already won the war at the cross with His resurrection. Do you think that after all Jesus went through, living a life of a human being, and we all know how tough that is, right? But then, doing it perfectly, but then dying on a cross yes. for things He didn't do. Yes. Staying in the tomb for three days. All right. all being right. resurrected. Do you think that after all that, He would then abandon His dear children to false spirits? No. He gives <coughs> us the tools that we need. So we need not fear any false spirit because the spirit of truth is greater than the spirit of lies. Amen. Strength of God. In 2 Kings 6, the king of Syria sent his army to surround the house of the prophet Elisha. Frightened, Elisha's servant ran into him and said, What shall we do? And Elisha said, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Servant ran back out of the house. He looked around. All he saw was the Syrian army. What he saw didn't match with what Elisha just said. But then the prophet Elisha prays. And he says, Oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. <coughs> and so the servant looked again. And he, God opened his eyes. And he looked around. And it, the Bible says the hills were full of horses and chariots of fire all around. We live in a spiritual world. We just can't see it with the dimensions that we can comprehend. This is what God is telling us today. God's strength is greater than the enemy's strength. 
Today we have something greater even than God's angelic army that surrounded Elisha's house. We have God Himself and the person of the Holy Spirit inside each one of us. It doesn't matter what false spirits are circling our house because if you're a true Christian, you have the spirit of truth living in you. We also have the Word of God given to us by way of the prophets and the apostles. And John then says in verse 4 that we have already overcome them. And He who is in us is greater than He who is in the world. And He will give us true discernment. Let us pray. Father, we are so thankful that you are within us. It is so easy to be carried down along these false spirits, these false prophets, these false messages. Even the one that, that puts Satan as your equal, Lord, so it's this cosmic battle between uh, ultimate good and ultimate evil, but we already know that's not true because you created the being that became Satan and you are greater than by far than Him. He is powerful. And He is deceptive. But we need not fear Him because you are greater than the one who has been banished to this world. God, if there is anyone in this room today astounded by this information, who wants this power of God within them, who knows they do not have it, Lord, as we sing, I pray that you would drive them to your feet and that they would come down and let us talk to them about their eternal destination. God, as we go forth today, I pray that you would give us the opportunity to share Christ with those in our community, those that we run across, that we would look for opportunities, that when we meet someone who says, I don't want to believe in Christ, that we will not give up on them, but that we'll keep going back and just have a relationship with them. Just love them so that your love then can capture them and pull them into salvation. So as we sing today, Father, I pray that you would just work in our hearts and minds and that this message from your word would resonate as we go forth from this place. In Jesus' name. So we're going to sing, um, I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, Jesus is Lord of All. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, hymn number 296, Jesus is Lord of All. This is your opportunity. Uh, if you want to confess your love of Jesus, if you need to confess publicly that you are a child of God, this is your opportunity. And I encourage you to come up. Let us celebrate that. Uh, with you. Or if you're here and you would like to make Frederica Baptist Church your home body of faith, your family of faith, then I encourage you to come up as well so that we can just have a party and enjoy that, that you want to commit to us, we commit to you, you're part of the family. Uh, and uh, this is your opportunity. If you need to pray, uh, then you come as well. Paul? Jesus is saved.